What we will get with this improvisation practice is freedom, which we don't have when we are reading music or playing falsettas. If we play falsettas, the actual value of playing a falsetta is to analyze it, not just to repeat it. Now it's like a parrot. This Paco said that. I believe this is true because he never played twice the same thing. He was always searching new new stuff and also try to create variations. First, of course, we start from some point we have to learn a falsetta properly, which means in Solia Pobreria and Bureria on Tangos and anything, we count it, do it very well. And then we, if we have uh, capacity to do that, that would be ideal. In our lessons in Skype I do this thing to analyze the, the, the falsettas and then we get this is the first minor, this is the fifth of that, this is the flat seven, this is the score, this is the score. So we analyze this stuff and then that is the real value of playing it. But if we just repeat that, this is the classical, it's, the, it's like over imposing classical music in flamenco, <laughs> making it match. Because it, it happened, this thing that people uh, took for granted that repeating phrases made that was flamenco. Actually, this is the case with all the style flamenco. With the traditional thing, it is true. But in the Paco de Lucia's style, that is not true. Because you see what Paco said there. We need to aspire to go for the goal of improvisation. Because then, then we will get freedom and knowledge about how we play. How we play is the most important thing, not what we play. Falsetta playing is about what you play. But uh, in improvisation you have to see how you are playing. How is all this? The contour, which scales are you using? Which rhythm are you using? Or certain things like for instance you can put rhythm of Hanguillo. And then play some chords with that. Do we have these things in the study program? And then people play and then come up with melodies and with ideas. And then, then they say, oh, wow, this is so cool. Because finally they are playing they themselves. Even if it's not very fancy stuff or 
it doesn't mean to play faster scales with anything. If you don't have the technique, you cannot do it. So that's not that's not the thing. But the thing is that you create a melody on your own, and then take this decision to move into this improvisation field, uh, losing fear of the unknown. Because of course you, that's the exciting thing about it. You don't know what will happen. Otherwise, if we plan everything and play a solo, most of our past for improvisation. It's very planned. People is planning this stuff. I practiced Pacotone years ago, and every day I sit there. How he was doing it also, put some music there and play it with the singers, with anything. Just put there and play. It. That's how he was practicing. I took this thing many seriously because I saw him doing it, and I said this has to be everything because if he's doing this, this is the only practice he did. You know after. Uh, so many years, he never practiced again technique or other things because he mastered already the stuff. But but that he did practice, like put just like what I play at the beginning of my videos. Uh, this is not actually playing. This is my practice. <laughs> and a friend here in CFB suggested that you should put a, one minute of that at the, uh, at the beginning of the thing, and then I did it. I think it's okay. But that is not me playing. That is me. Pra that is my practice. So that's why I, because Paco practiced that way also. <laughs> I saw him many times doing this thing. The first time I was shocked, I said, what is this thing? Why he's playing with that old Cameron album or with some, some music there that already has the melody and he was putting other melodies there. I said, why do you do this thing, Paco? And he said, this is this we do to understand the melody. Because if, if you do that, then you, you have to work the internal structure of the thing and also know, of course, if there is melodies, you have to see also what to play that that does not go and covers the other thing, but actually how this complements each other, the melody, up to the point of creating counterpoint and stuff, which is, imagine improvising counterpoint, this is such an, an advanced thing, improvisation, that's what he was doing, so I saw marvelous things, the most incredible things I saw of Paco playing were improvisations because that was created right there right mm -hmm. he played many good things but this was just totally exciting because he was creating it and you could tell that he's excited playing that he was creating the stuff right there so therefore we also do the same process this is a, something we have to practice on the proper guidance in my study program I have all the tools to get you from the scratch to the highest level on this topic specifically, which by the way nowadays this is becoming one of the most popular things for my students because they want it, they actually ask me, I want to do that. Because it's, this is very cool. You feel the freedom coming to your hands and to your brain and to your ears. And the whole system just flows still with music. What can be more enjoyable than that? Me ayudó porque descubrí ahí el, la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando y qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Pablo, sí, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo de Andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el, en el que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas eh, elaborando esa música.